And uh, let me start out in the tropics with the good news, and that's that the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean right now are nice and clear, and they should stay uh, about the same for the next couple of days for the entire weekend, for that matter. We are, of course, continuing to track Tropical Storm uh, Fiona out here in the Atlantic. Fiona's running into some dry air, as you can see uh, in this picture. So it's kind of breaking apart a little bit. Expect to become a tropical depression a little bit later on today. I'll show you uh, what Fiona's going to be doing here in just a minute. We also have uh, another area of low pressure or a tropical wave that's got a 50% chance of developing into a tropical storm over the next five days. And we are watching another tropical wave still over land right now. It's got a 40% chance of developing into a tropical system in the next five days. So things are starting to fire up just a bit across uh, the tropics. And of course, uh, we are going to continue to follow that and keep you as up to date as possible. And here's what one of the models are saying uh, these three systems are going to do. Here is a uh, Fiona pretty much headed up towards Bermuda, which is right about there uh, over the next couple of days. This is at Monday at 9 a.m. Those other two areas that we are following uh, are still out in the Atlantic. Let me uh, put the motion, uh, put this back into motion. You can see this particular one that we're most concerned about headed towards the Caribbean uh, over towards San Juan, Puerto Rico by 1 p.m. on Wednesday. There's Fiona up towards Bermuda. And here's the other system that is right now over Western Africa. I'll put this in motion again. You can see that going towards the Bahamas. This is at noontime on Friday. Uh, the other system moving out over the central Atlantic. Fiona still over by Bermuda at that time. And then this particular uh, system, possible system that we're following, moving over the uh, Bahamas. It looks like it's headed towards uh, Florida. This is at Saturday at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So definitely something that we're going to watch very closely and we'll keep you as up to date on as possible.